Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Jeannie Pinder from clearhealthcost.com. I'm here to talk about a data problem. Why can't we understand what stuff costs in healthcare? And what are we going to do about it? So not long ago, I had an MRI for my ache and back. The charge, $2,300. And then a friend told me that he had the same procedure. His charge was $450. Another friend, hers was $3,500. So what's up with that? It's weird, huh? Same procedure? So I made friends with an MRI clinic supervisor. They charge $1,500 cash, and their receipts look like this, maybe even $400. So, I used to work for the New York Times. I was a reporter and editor there for 25 years. I like information, I like finding stuff out. I went looking for a big pile of data to explain this problem. There should be something out there somewhere, right? Well, come to find out, actually, that data does exist, but it's secret. It's under lock and key, kept by the providers, by the payers. You can get it, but only if you have big money. So I thought, well, maybe the answer is not big data. Maybe it's a bunch of little data. So we did what journalists do. We sat down and started calling people on the phone and asking them their prices for common procedures. This comparison, same blood test, $16 or 117 We decided to do some crowdsourcing. We asked women what they were paying for their birth control pills. Rush Limbaugh, listen up. Same pill, same city, different drugstore, $4 a month or 50 It's kind of like what the airline ticket sales industry used to be like in the bad old days. Information asymmetry, nobody had any idea what stuff cost. You asked your travel agent, he said $900, and you paid. But now there's Hipmunk. A formerly opaque marketplace has now become transparent. And well, guess what? Transparent marketplaces benefit consumers. Think of cars.com. So let's look at this problem in a different way. This chart shows the rise in healthcare expenditures in this country over the course of time. We spend $2.8 trillion a year. It's a fifth of our GDP, and nobody knows what stuff costs. This is us on top. Our percentage of, spend, of spending as a percentage of GDP compared with other nations, that's us up top, out in front and all alone. So what causes this, you might ask? Well, the Attorney General of Massachusetts did an investigation and what she determined was that it was price increases, not increases in utilization. Also distortions in contracting practices. So what can we do about this? It's 18% of our national spending, and it's completely opaque. Show me the money. What we can do is look for little data. You can ask that question that we asked. What does it cost? We found these prices and put them up online. It's one of many transparency tools that you can find if you're willing to ask. Just ask. Then there's also my friend, e-patient Dave. He's a uh, cancer patient. He just had a skin cancer spot right here on his cheek. He asked for an RFP, <laughs> asked for proposals. Guess what? The prices were all over the place. So you might want to tell me you're insured. You don't really care about this because insurance is paying. Well, is it really? Why are your premiums going up? Why are your co-pays going up? Or maybe you want to tell me that since it's more expensive, it must be better. There's a quality issue here, right? So is that $3,500 MRI really 10 times better than the $350 MRI? Is it $3,000 better? Ask what stuff costs. It matters. Our healthcare system is broken. It punishes people for being poor, uninsured, and ill-informed. You can figure it out, ask what stuff costs, because what happens when the money runs out? The lady in the middle, her husband had a serious but ultimately treatable disease. The state program that insured him ran out of money. This is his funeral. So in conclusion, I'd like to suggest that if you can't find big data, sometimes little data is really helpful. And until the big data shows up, little data is what we're going to have to use. 
Ask what it costs. Thank you.